Imagine a world recovering from a cataclysmic event. The dinosaurs, those magnificent rulers of the land, are gone. In their place, new ecosystems emerge. The air is warm, heavy with humidity. This is the Paleocene Epoch, a time of recovery and renewal. From the ashes of the dinosaur reign, new life arises, taking on shapes and sizes never seen before. Among these new pioneers, a creature of incredible size and power would soon emerge, a serpent destined to become a legend of its time. Titanoboa. This is the story of Earth's largest snake, a creature so colossal that it dwarfs even the most formidable snakes of our time. Join us as we journey back millions of years to a world where giant turtles plowed through freshwater swamps and massive crocodiles lurked in the murky depths. This is the world that Titanoboa ruled, a world where size truly mattered and the line between predator and prey was razor thin. Our journey begins not in this prehistoric world, but in the heart of modern-day Colombia. It is here, in the depths of a coal mine, that the first clues to Titanoboa's existence were unearthed, forever changing our understanding of life after the dinosaurs. The Kerijon coal mine in Colombia is a place of stark beauty, a landscape scarred by industry, yet holding secrets millions of years old. It was here in the early 21st century that scientists stumbled upon something extraordinary. Embedded in the rock, amongst the fossilized leaves and remnants of ancient plants, lay the bones of a creature unlike any seen before. At first glance, the massive vertebrae, larger than a human hand, were mistaken for crocodile remains. But closer inspection revealed a startling truth. These were the bones of a snake, a snake of unimaginable proportions. The discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Snakes of such immense size were thought to be the stuff of mythology, yet here was irrefutable evidence to the contrary. The fossils unearthed in the Serijan mine pointed to a creature that defied all previous expectations, a snake that dwarfed even the largest anacondas and pythons alive today. This was Titanoboa, a name that would soon become synonymous with gigantic serpents and the awesome power of nature. With each passing year, more fossils emerged from the Serajon mine, piecing together the skeletal puzzle of Titanoboa. Each bone told a story, a story of a time when giant creatures roamed the earth and the balance of power was held by a serpent of truly colossal proportions. To understand Titanoboa, we must first understand the world it inhabited. The Paleocene Epoch, a time period spanning roughly 10 million years after the extinction of the dinosaurs, was a world in transition. The climate was much warmer than today, with tropical rainforests extending far beyond their current boundaries. The air was thick with humidity and vast swamps teeming with life covered much of the land. It was in this hot, humid environment that Titanoboa thrived. The swamps of what is now Colombia provided the perfect conditions for this giant serpent to grow and flourish. The warm temperatures, coupled with an abundance of prey, allowed Titanoboa to reach sizes that would be impossible for snakes in today's cooler climate. These ancient swamps were not peaceful havens, however. They were teeming with life, much of it large and dangerous. Giant turtles with shells larger than a car tire navigated the waterways, while massive crocodiles, some rivaling Titanoboa in size, lurked in the murky depths. This was a world of giants, a world where survival depended on size, strength, and cunning. Section 4. A Serpent of Superlative Size Titanoboa was a creature of superlatives. With an estimated length of up to 50 feet and a weight exceeding one ton, it dwarfed even the largest snakes alive today. To put its size into perspective, imagine a snake as long as a school bus and as heavy as a small car. That's Titanoboa. But Titanoboa's size was just one aspect of its impressive anatomy. Like all boas, Titanoboa was a constrictor, meaning it killed its prey by squeezing the life out of it. Its powerful muscles, capable of generating incredible pressure, allowed it to overpower and suffocate even the largest animals in its environment. Its jaws, while not designed for swallowing prey whole like some modern snakes, were lined with sharp, backward-curving teeth, perfect for gripping and holding onto struggling victims. Titanoboa's skull, too, held clues to its predatory prowess. While similar in shape to modern-day boas, 
Titanoboa's skull was proportionally larger and more robust, indicating a powerful bite and the ability to handle large prey. Its eyes, likely situated on top of its head like those of modern-day anacondas, allowed it to lie in wait beneath the water's surface, ambushing unsuspecting prey with lightning speed. Section 5. The Hunt and the Hunted Titanoboa was the apex predator of its environment, and its hunting strategies were likely a combination of stealth, ambush, and brute force. Imagine this. The sun beats down on a Paleocene swamp. Steam rises from the still water, and the air is alive with the sounds of insects and the calls of distant birds. Beneath the surface, hidden amongst the tangled roots and murky depths, a Titanoboa lies in wait. Its prey, a giant turtle, lumbers closer, oblivious to the danger lurking below. With a sudden burst of speed, the Titanoboa strikes, its jaws clamping down on the turtle's shell. The water explodes in a frenzy of thrashing limbs and churning water as the Titanoboa coils its massive body around its prey, squeezing tighter and tighter until the struggle ceases. But Titanoboa wasn't invincible. Its swampy domain was also home to other formidable predators, including massive crocodiles that could rival Titanoboa in size. These encounters were likely brutal battles of strength and ferocity, with both predator and prey bearing the scars of combat. Section 6. The Fall of the Titans Despite its dominance, Titanoboa's reign as king of the Paleocene swamps eventually came to an end. Like all species, Titanoboa was subject to the forces of change, and the world it inhabited was undergoing a dramatic transformation. The climate, once hot and humid, began to cool, and the lush rainforests that Titanoboa called home gradually gave way to drier, more seasonal environments. These changing conditions likely had a profound impact on Titanoboa's survival. As temperatures dropped, Titanoboa, a reptile dependent on external heat sources to regulate its body temperature, would have found it increasingly difficult to maintain the energy levels required to hunt and reproduce. Furthermore, the cooling climate likely led to changes in prey availability. The giant turtles and other large reptiles that Titanoboa relied on for sustenance may have declined in number or migrated to more suitable habitats, leaving Titanoboa with a dwindling food supply. Section 7. Titanoboa's Echo in Time The discovery of Titanoboa has revolutionized our understanding of snake evolution and the incredible diversity of life that flourished after the extinction of the dinosaurs. Titanoboa's fossils provide a unique window into a time when giant creatures roamed the earth, pushing the boundaries of size and adaptation. But Titanoboa's story is more than just a fascinating tale of a prehistoric monster. It serves as a powerful reminder of the awesome power of nature, the interconnectedness of life and the constant state of change that has shaped our planet for billions of years. As we continue to explore the fossil record, we can be sure that more secrets of the past, like those revealed by the discovery of Titanoboa, await us, offering a glimpse into the incredible history of life on Earth and reminding us of the precious and fragile nature of our planet.